I think a tremendous amount happened yesterday that I didn't give the proper gravitas to. We had some massive character defining moments. She came face to face with a god in some ruins, which I think might impact her, uh, shall we say, her, her beliefs, her, her zealousness with, with the divine spark. Of course, we had to restructure an entire realm through horrible levels of bureaucracy because elven culture frown on women rulers, which is something that might impact our... Maybe a reformation. Maybe we split a culture off to allow a bit more equality and fairness because she's seen as queen firsthand the side effects of that, which is not being able to give out titles to people who are more than deserving of it. That's the important task. The only task of the last kind of three characters has been, of course, looking in these bloodlines. That's done. It's over. The battle is complete with 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 Elf Miramis marrying Ratha Tharthi. Uh, it's done. Their children will always have the five bloodlines and as long as they marry each other as well. That's that sorted. We never have to worry about the bloodlines again. So now we go back to our main focus, of course, being our character. In this case, Queen Faces, who did again come face to face with a god yesterday. So I think at this point, we have more than enough reason to... Uh, oh, dare I even say it? Maybe consider uh, devol uh, diverging from our spark faith and even diverging our culture as well. Uh, of course, primarily, I'm still looking for two things. I'm looking for a spark crystal from an expedition, and we're also looking to ascend up the ranks. Hold on, let me just remind myself, where did we get up to with this? There was a lot I had to cut out of yesterday's episode, OBS issues aside, there was a lot of title management and just kind of day-to-day -day stuff that needed tidying up. Right, so we should come to wherever this is down here, because apparently we didn't finish it. Uh, I think, oh, uh, people were saying that the altruism is better than zealotry for specifically piety gain. Uh, I wasn't, I mean, obviously we want to get specifically piety gain, but when you come face to face with a god, it seems a bit appropriate that you would also uh, <laughs> maybe become a bit more or lean towards the, the zealotry a bit more, I suppose. So if we put a cash, we'll, we'll go on a bit more of a meandering route to hit some of these important... Oh, God. Uh, your piety is impressive. 99% chance. Okay, to add to our legend. Legends are very annoying. I feel like the events overshadow absolutely everything else. Like, it's good flavor. Don't get me wrong. It's too much flavor. There is too much going on. How are we looking? 146 out of 300. Hey, we're halfway there to being able to upgrade it to... What is that? Like the highest uh, legend possible? Let's get the living legend trait. So obviously we're going to go for that. Prestige 2 a month. Good lord. Worth mentioning, you may notice a few interface differences. I threw in a couple of interface mods that f finally allows us to examine all of the traits. Not a massive fan personally of the... I would say oversaturated traits and intrigue. Uh, sorry, perk... Uh, uh, stat numbers there as well. I think it's a little bit too intense, but I suppose it might let you see it a little bit better on, on mobile devices and that type of thing. So we can finally see everything she's got going for her there, which is uh, a tremendous amount, quite frankly. We'll see how we get on with it. If I don't like it, I'm sure there's another mod that does the same thing. Another learning perk, you don't say. Uh, how about a little clerical justification? What I'm thinking we're doing, right, because of course we're converting the realm right now, uh, culturally and religiously. I think what we'll do when we're done with converting the current realm that we're trying to convert the current county, we'll flip over to trying to convert. Brand of mind, indoctrination works on other counties outside of your domain. We'll try and convert this holy site because that would give us plus 5% extra monthly lifestyle experience. That it's going to stack up massively. I mean, it already is, right? We'll go on an expedition. We'll just try and, you know, take this gamble here. Of course, we haven't got to worry about the spark crystal until we're ready to uh, ascend. And maybe we'll hold off ascension until we find the spark crystal, right? Let's, uh, again, do a little bit of a meandering route. But we'll go on that pilgrimage. We'll go, uh, let's go hit there. Let's go hit there. Uh, we'll, we'll just do something similar to this with our pilgrimage. Where we'll go on some crazy me meandering route. And we'll... Try and maximize our piety by going into altruism as well. Oh, now this actually could be relevant if we want this character to potentially split the culture. The mystics are everywhere in, here in Alhila. They go around preaching and sharing their knowledge. We can take the Medichant Mystics cultural tradition. Men mendicant? Whatever. Uh, wise man line of traits become more common and they also get more bonuses, right? So they get... Oh, I suppose we can't see exactly what we got on top of that. Plus two learning. I'm sure it'll give something else as well. Honestly, I'm going to go with that because it could be quite relevant. Brand of mine, she's a witch. She has been quite mystical in her approach. I mean, she quite literally came face to face with a god yesterday. I think... I think we could do something big with that. I think that could be kind of an interesting uh, kind of character justified way of going about it. Traveling Bard, hello. Um, thank you for the performance. We're not going to pay for human songs. Come on now. Your dynasty has a lot of private armor. We can recruit house guards. That's kind of fun. Mana arms regiments plus one. 
And perhaps more importantly, given that we're just going to be sat at this expedition for months on end, absolute control means we can actually help out the realm as well. How are we doing on the control front? Um, you're still working on it, which isn't inspiring much confidence. Uh, oh yeah, it looks terrible. Really, <laughs> it really is just awful right now. Oh my god. It's self-evident to all that Emperor Elrond cannot shoulder the burdens of rule by himself. Therefore, we're regent. We've been elected regent. Is he incapable? What's happened? Is he infirm? Maimed cancer. Oh. Is he... He's also traveling. So he's going to Baradun because of a university visit. Okay, we can't do anything with that. Ooh. Some of these traits look a bit odd, don't they now? <laughs> Very oversaturated. Uh... I think we'll just say our recognition. What can we do in seven months? I mean, what do we want to do in seven months, right? Try and work our way up to, I don't know, getting like an entrenched regency. You never get enough time to do it unless they're infirm or incapable or whatever. There's not really much we can do with that. Hello. Falca Handa Scale Armor of the Ravager. Oh, my God. Ske uh, seduce Power is up by 30%. Raid Speed is up by 30%. And Prestige Per Night 0 0.03. Not massive, but, but something. Look forward to seeing this in action. Absolutely. I don't think it's as good as the armor we've currently got. I mean, unless we do want to go and do a lot of raiding. 25 gold. Show me that spark crystal. Another exception is rare. Obviously, we've only found one in the hundreds of years that we've gone traveling here. Um, you want never breaks, but breaks... What what falls, but never breaks? What breaks, but never falls? Uh, daybreak. What falls, but never breaks? Day, day, day fall? Uh, sure, we'll go with that one. I don't know, don't know if I quite understand that one so much. God, there's loads left here. Um, I will face him. I think you probably should. Yeah. Pretty my last time we just simply got shitty options. Okay, stand back. I'll face him. Yeah, let's see what we can do here. Uh, taste silver, commoner. We throw uh, a purse of gold in his face and he gains 20 gold. <laughs> ah, I don't think I've ever seen that before. What is that from? Because of high stewardship. Oh, for God's sake. Let's actually try and win one of these fights. For God's sake. Come on now. Last time it went very poorly. You've got this. You've got this, I believe. Strike parry repost. Beautiful. I am victorious. Yes, you are. Uh, how are we doing on Hastaluda? Level one bow. Ah, fair enough. Not not great. We, we did lose last time, so that's fair enough. The development and county of Baghdad increased by 25. I presume out of any county to have like high development, Baghdad would probably be up there, right? Is it done? A new holy set from this day forward. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. Time to head home. Yes, please. Yeah, I presume that would already have quite a massive level of development, though. Uh, it's run at 61. That seems pretty good. Yeah, I mean, going off the development map mode, we're up there with, like, can we see the development of, like, Rome is 67? Oh, my God. We're, like, the second most developed place going. What about Mecca? 52? Alexandria? Cairo? Because we were there for ages doing a bunch of stuff. We're the second most developed county in the world right now. God damn. What about up here around the Ganges? What is that? 60, 61? 60, 60. Yeah. Oh, 75. Bloody hell. Fair enough. Holy crap. Maharaja Deer Singh of Bihar has... Okay, so we're like third place in development then. I'll take that happily. Fine. We can sort that. You can unlock a new perk for the Marshal. Really? That's a very kind gift you're giving him there. One of your perks. Overseer. Beautiful. Happily said that. It increases our, our actual control growth as well, right? Yeah, there you go. 0 0.5 per month. Also gives plague resistance. I think that might be the most appropriate life path we could have pick and, uh, picking. Picking? <laughs> Listen, I've never sleep last week, okay? I'm losing my mind. Diligent, fickle, and paranoid. Overseer seems seems pretty good for that. I, I think that's quite suitable. And the divine spark, I can go indoors again. I can't really afford a pilgrimage. I can't really afford an epic either. Not sure why. We're making 68 gold per month. Where's all that money going? Let's just uh, humor me here a second. Let's say I go all in. Like, really just all in. The most ridiculous, longest distance. Oh, what is going on there? Wow, that's uh, a bold choice. Okay. Oh, fair enough. Okay. That's fine. It's a little bit distracting, but that's okay. Let's go for uh, that pilgrimage. Uh, let's just go full send. All the way up to uh, Iceland, Baradur, or, or whatever we ended up calling it in the end. Let's see how expensive it will be if I go there and we also go for a big old wander along the way. Oh, we've already been there. You're the Dyer, and it's better to remain within the realm because it's outside of the realm. Ah, oh, shit. Right. How long until that regency is over in that case? How long is our liege at university for? Just says traveling towards it. He hasn't even got there yet. Okay, well, look, it was only, only kind of hypothetical. Let's, let's just see how far we can go. So let's say we go all the way to the furthest point, Van, in our, our original capital of, of Elrong there. 
Travel time, two years. Oh, my God. And then let's say, uh, we want to go for altruism, right? Oh, good Lord. This is going to be expensive, isn't it? Oh, good Lord. 1,300 gold. Okay, and then we customize the route. We're going to leave from Baghdad, and we're going to go to France via, I don't know, Finland. Wow. Uh, okay, yeah, we could we could do that. Via, okay, let's go from Baghdad. Let's go from there, round to, uh, round up to, like, Siberia. That seems good. Oh, yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? What a journey. 94 days over maximum. Only 94 days out, uh, over maximum. Really? Ha. Huh. If we go down like that, there you go. And then uh, maybe we go from there to, I don't know, let's go through the Alps for a laugh. Oh, wait, wait, go through the Alps for a laugh. That seems fine. Boom. There you are. Wow, we can really stretch this, can't we? Uh, from Baghdad. Sorry, let's go Let's go around here first. Beautiful. Okay. And then when we leave there, we're going to go up to, we're going to go up to here. That's the old Grand Portal ruins. Oh, yeah, that's a nice journey, isn't it? Oh, wow. Yeah. No, actually, I'm thinking uh, instead... We're going to leave Baghdad, and we're actually going to head uh, this direction first. There you are. That's good. That's pretty nice. I think we could probably do something better with that. This is ridiculous. Obviously, this is just all... Wow, so we really can go exceptionally far with this. Total travel time, five years. If I don't get thousands of piety from that, I'm going to be very upset. Dedicating five years of this character's life to uh, an unbelievably long pilgrimage. I expect to get mad cash for it. Speaking of mad cash... She's not upset about embezzling. She's also diligent. Paranoid, though? Would she want to make an enemy of the Emperor? You gain 450 gold five times. What does that mean? So is that saying we get effectively uh, 2,300 gold or 81% chance of potentially gaining a tremendous amount of cash? Are you joking? 70%. We love the gamble. <sighs> oh, we'd never. He, he could imprison us. Would she do it? Is she particularly greedy? I don't know if she's greedy, but... High stewardship, diligent, fickle. I feel like the paranoia... I mean, maybe a little sum is a treat. Maybe a little sum is a treat, but I think she's too paranoid to go for any big treasure. Okay, so we do just get the 225. Fair enough. There's me trying to think to myself, how on earth are we going to earn money? 30% extra raid speed. You know, I think I've pieced it together. Why are you allowed to equip two different armors? What the fuck? Hey? <laughs> okay. Scale armor of the... She's got that under her mail. Ah, oh, it makes perfect sense. I'm not going to question it. In fact, now... Now you mention it. Equip one of three, equip two of three. Sunny and sword. What is going on with that? Whoa. Uh... I was going to say, we've got a bunch of spare artifacts that I can just smash up. And we could sell that to fund our pilgrimage. It turns out maybe we can equip more than I realized. There's got to be a mod, right? I feel like this hasn't always been the case. Listen, I don't make the rules. This is a time-honored Falca Hand of Tradition that we go out there and we steal dolls from across the realm. Pox dev dev devastated your capital. You lost 20 legitimacy. I can't do anything about that. Uh, King Toot and Carmelf. Uh, do no more than what is necessary. He's a strong man, okay? She she has full faith that he can, he can survive that because I think he really can. What in the world happened to my elf Miramis? Uh, it's called smallpox, actually. As if so much as a pin drop, she goes running for the safety of an empty closet. Oh, no. She's become craven. Oh, God. I guess I've got to give her paranoid. I mean, our character's paranoid. Boy, people, and you'll be safe. No, 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 no. That's not the work of a diligent ruler, is it? No. Overwhelmed by stress because her daughter has been turned into a craven. That makes sense. You know, that, that can be a quite stressful experience to have to deal with a, a childhood bully. I get it. I think that makes perfect sense. Hello. Um, not resulting in an alliance. Well, that's terribly unfortunate for you then, isn't it? That might look like Jeremy Clarkson. Did you see that? You can unlock a new perk for the prowess. Everything's got a little bit strange. What happened to you? Died of consumption. Oh, that's not even the smallpox this time. That's okay, because some of our successors are coming in now, and they're the long-lived elves. Really, I should just fire some of the guys that we've got already. Resolute vassals, thrifty operations, master of logistics. Yes, please. That's pretty nice. We're we'll ready to go. Obviously, I'm going to turn them into one enormous army, because uh, why wouldn't I? We get the raid speed benefits then. And let's go out there and see if we can't get ourselves a little bit of cash. I think the Abbasids are probably sitting on... Oh, I was going to say sitting on some cash, but I suppose we did just fight them recently. France here, technically a different realm. We're allied with uh, the Kingdom of Syria, though, so I don't really want to be... 
really want to be going over that. What are we looking at in terms of loot? 29 gold in that direction. 23. Ooh, not much anywhere, actually. We could go a sailing. Whoa! Oh my god, hold on. Uh, India seems to be exceptionally wealthy and actually not that far away in the grand scheme of things. Oh, poor them. The fact that we've gone from raiding around Europe from Iceland to now raiding into India is... Really is just perfect, isn't it? It's not going to take us that long to get there at all. There you go, he survived. Great work. And this is probably going to take all of about two seconds to... Oh my god, we're going to sweep through it like a plague. Look at this go. Five days per raid. A doll! Yes! Elf Miramis would love this. Elf Miramis. I haven't decided how to pronounce the name yet, okay? 69 gold. 69 gold for seven days work. Oh my lord. She's going to be a Viking and maybe one journey at this rate. <laughs> this is silly. Oh, shit. Advanced bow making. Hello. Okay. Let's have a look at that in a second. I mean, I can't imagine any of the retinues we get from that are going to be better than what we've already got, right? You deserve to know his power, his being uh, the divine spark in this case. Yes, absolutely. There you go. Or maybe that guy we met yesterday. I can't remember his name. Oh, peasant revolt. God damn you. Um, 15 opinion of you. Well, are we already friends then? Are we already friends? Okay, uh, yeah, you can have that then. There you are. Rally the troops. Oh, for God's sake. Well, I'm not going home for that. Am I? Am they going to force me? Ugh. Okay, hold on. Uh, raise the holy orders? The thing is, I'm trying to make prestige. That doesn't make much sense. Oh, for God's sake. Don't make me come home to fight this. But we got 1,200 left behind. Okay, I can do that. Characters that have just attrition down and then have reinforced back in the base. If we do that, quickly swap... Okay, oh, you know what? You're the best. You're the best candidate there. Actually, you're a raider. But I, again, we want the we want the experience for her personally, right? That should be an easy battle. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Don't worry about it. Okay, how are you doing over here? Beautiful. New lifestyle perks. Then, uh, listen. I think we've got to go into. Uh, I think we've got to start going into living off the land if we're going to make this part of our part of our wheelhouse. She's very, very good leader. She's always been a very good military leader. So it's about time we, we embrace that. We prove it. 92 gold. Good Lord. You people have been rich for far too long. Oh, you're, we get an alliance with Sicily. Oh, hello. Yes. King Elisar the Insane. He sounds like the type of guy that we want. Sea wolves. Prowess. Uh, naval speed 20%. Oh, that's interesting. Prestige and fame from battles up by 100%. This is... I mean, everything's coming up Millhouse, right? This is great. 106 loot. <laughs> this is nuts. Oh, Lord. We have, like, positioned ourselves in a part of the world that's never had to deal with with elven raiders before. We're, like, we're like breaking new ground here. Engineer for destruction. Absolutely. Siege weapon effectiveness. What was that? Naval speed as well. That's great. More importantly, puts us within a stone's throw of our... What have we got over here? 56 there. That seems pretty good. Uh, puts us within a stone's throw of faster raiding speed. Not that we need it. Obviously, at this point, it will shave maybe a couple of days off at best. Hello, Steward Germany Elf. No, thank you. We're, we're on the other side of the world right now, so unfortunately, we would not be suitable for that position. Thank you for the offer. Yes! Yes! Oh, my God, look at that. A trusty shovel. Well, that's, that's the game changer right there. That was worth traveling all the way to a different continent for her. How are we looking in terms of loot in these places? Oh, Lord. Just right all the way down the coast, right? Oh, this is great. This is amazing. Right, let's head up to... Uh, We'll just head up through here. 51. I can't believe I'm looking at places with like 51 gold. I'm thinking, ah, it's not really worth it, is it? What? Spoleto have had a different branch of elven culture. They're elves that speak Italian. Yes. Oh, well, that's good. I like that. Again, I like all these all these cultures diverting. I think it's, uh, I think that's pretty nice. That's an interesting twist because it's been very much a monoculture from day one all the way over here. Like we've been adventuring across the world, but when you think about it, has it really made much of a difference? Oh, welcome back, my daughter. Hello. Good good, good to see you. Very nice. Who are you again? Has it really made that much of a difference? Effectively, we've just got a different environment, and that's kind of it. Um, Elf Moremus can gain diligent. Oh, she is quite literally a chip off the old block in a way. Diligent and ambitious. We're asking for her to die early, but... What a character to play as, potentially. Who's that pirate she's marrying? Is that her firstborn son? This is, a, this is an 80-year-old man. What's happened to you? That's a rough 25. Entry perk. Murder scheme power. Disrupt schemes. Disrupt schemes. I think it's a bit more for her. Given that, again, she's paranoid. Going into intrigue will make a lot of sense. What happened to you? I cannot believe that the genes, that the hideous genes, are still kicking around after all this time. That guy has to be a descendant of Feasnor, right? 
the Prince of Fashion, Faya Snore himself. Ooh, 700 casualties. Careful there. Probably has a lot of people we threw away in pursuit of gold that we don't really need at this point, admittedly. But there we are. And that's it. We're done. We filled up 1,500 gold all in a day's work. Great work. Uh, genuinely amazing. Well, that'll fund a pilgrimage or two or three or maybe just one exceptionally long one. And you know what? I think I might commit to that horrible, horrible idea. And it really is such a short journey too because these sea tiles are so enormous. I mean, it's so, so quick to get back. It's so, so convenient. Oh God, sorry. I got seasickness from all this, all this boat traveling. Oh, that'll do. That's got us some money back, hasn't it? A little bit late, but there's uh, living off the land. Supply capacity too is going to be fantastic if we do something like that again. Um, the modest faces. I cannot stand to be in prison. Sure. Okay, go free. We should probably just ransom everybody out. We don't need them. Jesus. Yeah, off you go. Goodbye. Nice seeing you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Thanks for visiting. A strange noise. I ride back in my castle after a lonely walk. I was born on this day 49 years ago. Good Lord. And the older I get, the more I cherish the relationships I've cultivated over the years. So it saddens me I've not heard from my husband, Tutankhamen, for any of my friends. I hear a clang and hushed whispers from down the hallway. Quickly, out the window. I think it might have been a surprise birthday party, but of course she's far too paranoid to ever consider something like that. Expedition again. Uh, honestly, the, the expedition is going to supersede the pilgrimage, arguably, because, you know... It doesn't really matter the order we do it in. We can't use the spark crystal until we've got the, the piety, but we don't need the piety until we've got the crystal, so it really makes no difference. Let's go ahead and plan the world's most ridiculous pilgrimage, because I think I can pay for it at this point. Um, so, yeah, our, our destination is going to be Baradum. Apparently, we've never been there before. Caravan master, we need somebody with speed and haste. We're not, we don't have a caravan master. What are you talking about? Well, we, we're going to need a caravan master given how far we're traveling. I feel like the uh, plague might have done some damage there. 450 gold for an average caravan master. Bloody hell. Good lord, man. Okay, well, let's head off then. We're going all the way up to Baradum. And then let's go for altruism. Uh, often leads to an increase in popular opinion and piety. So zealotry is... <laughs> seems a bit bizarre that zealotry doesn't give extra piety. Uh, that's just to convert others then. Fine, okay, fair enough. I, I've definitely read that before at some point. It just doesn't make any sense when you really think about it. You don't even have to really think about it. Um, I don't think we need to really do much uh, circumspect so we go slower. And uh, maybe medical equipment too. I think that's a good call. And then uh, let's customize this route and let's max it out. So from Baghdad, we're going to head up to uh, this place. We're going to head up to Mana. And then from Mana, we're going to head up to uh, the old portal ruins, right? It's got the plague. doesn't matter. Um, we're going to go up through Finland again. Because I really want to see Finland, actually. I think, I, I've think i heard it's beautiful this time of year. So we're going to go up through there. Uh, that's going to bring us down through Scandinavia, down through Norway. Um, so we're going to actually go from Finland uh, down through Denmark. That seems good. Dodge all those sites on the way. Hold on, hold on. We can, we can pop to some other places on the way through. We might as well try and ping a few of them here. Whoops. My bad. Uh, hold on. Oh, no. I've messed up. Chef, I've messed up. Hold on. We want to go there. Uh, forget about Uppsala. Let's go through. Uh, there we are. That's much better. Let's, let's actually see the world. I think that's a great play. So we're going to luck. Let's go from luck to there. And I might as well try and ping some of these sites on the way if we're already bloody going there in the first place, huh? Let's put this out a bit more carefully. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Fucking stupid. We're going to go to Iceland from Baghdad. And we are going to go east from the capital. We're going to go all the way up and around Asia. All the way up through the steppe to Siberia. We're going to swing east from the steppe. All the way along that northern part of Siberia. We're going to visit the old portal ruins. Up through the Rus, through to Finland, down through Finland, down through Sweden, down through Denmark, swing around through Germany, up through to the Netherlands, pop over the channel to the UK, visit all this various crap in the UK. I missed one point in the UK. Oh, no one wants to go to Lincoln. And then we're going to go up through Scotland, over to Iceland. We're going to do a full tour of Iceland to finally land in Baradum. It's going to take eight fucking years. If you dare tell me now that it's over, I was going to say, if you dare tell me after planning all of that that we're over travel time, I'm livid. Uh, 132 safety because we are paranoid. Um, she gives 121 because she's such an unstoppable beast. See you all in a decade. Goodbye, Baghdad. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> the chance of her dying on the way is not insignificant, but it's all going to be event-driven deaths. And off we go then. Wow, this is ridiculous. Um, Naturally... 
We'll pick anything that gives the highest piety. Because is that not our goal? We've, we've had a bit of a religious revelation. We were face to face with the jolly drink, green giant god of elven kind. So I feel like, personally, that would probably make you somewhat more pious. You would want to see what other mysteries of the world there are. Uh, elves also know that the more pious they are, the more they can connect with the spark, the more they can ascend. So she's got a lot. And that, of course, ties into her diligentness. Uh, di dil diligency. So there's a lot tying into that. Uh, and we're just going to... There's, there's lots of good reasons to go for it. She did become a Viking. The terror from Baghdad. Let them weep at my name. Terror from Baghdad. Cause that's hard. That is a great title. True masters. Uh, no. Goodbye. We're about piety. She's quite literally met one of the gods. I don't think you can convince her. You're barking up the wrong tree. We've barely set out and Ratha Tharthi is already dying. Do not more than what is necessary. The man is a hardy fella and we are going to be traveling through many, many plague-ridden backwards realms, if you don't mind. Uh, new perk for Marshall as well. I feel like we've only just set off. Bloody hell. I'm always up for a challenge. Ooh, rough terrain expert or reckless. I'll take rough terrain expert. We got it. Very nice if we're going to be raiding far and wide. Speaking of which, let's go for Parthian Tactics to boost up our cavalry, given that we've got mostly wolf riders. Seems pretty bloody nice. Someone's trying to die. You're bothering the wrong person. We're off. That's someone else's round now. Who is in charge? The Great Wall of Gorgon. Don't stare at it too closely. <laughs> Who's in charge of my realm? Oh, it's King Tutankhamun. Oh, if any if, if, trustworthy fella. That is an incredible... I, I like that this is kind of his moment. So we can't switch over to him and play him while she's off having her adventure. I understand why you wouldn't want to do that 90% of the time, but it could be kind of fun just to see it through his eyes for a while. All right, watch this stink. What? I hereby grant you the Duchy of Kurdistan. Oh, thank you, Elrong. Oh, what a fella. Okay, appreciate that, big man. Um, didn't really expect that. Duke Melandia of Kurdistan. Huh. Was this the man I landed? I really don't remember. Yeah, granted me a vassal. Oh, so we also... The Emperor made this and gave it to... No, no, no. Kurzistan? That's not right. What am I talking about? I'm losing my mind. What did it say? Kurdistan, not Kurzistan, you fool. I can't read. You can't blame me for that. Ooh. She is... Um, I would say a chip off the old block, but I actually think someone just hit copy and paste. Uh, that's just you. Arbitrary. Humble. Wait. Oh, this isn't the do this isn't the daughter I'm thinking of. Sorry. I was confusing it with this daughter, who they've also hit copy and paste from, to be fair. She I cannot believe how well she's come out. Ambitious, paranoid, diligent. Yes, she's probably going to die of stress at the age of 40. Who isn't? Oh, good. Here we are. We've got the opportunity, my friends, for a slight detour. Yeah. It's going to delay us by... Did that say five years? What the fuck did that just say? It's travel time remaining five years. Traveling to the pilgrimage. Six years until it begins. I expect to get a lot of piousness for this. Otherwise, I'm going to be very annoyed. Your dynasty is unlocked. Always space and all. That's a raider thing, right? Uh, army loot capacity, 50%. Max size of heavy infantry re regiments up two. We don't have any. Defender advantage plus five. Yikes. Well, if we have any money left after this uh, journey, we'll see what we can do. It's been snowing for a few days. The road ahead appears to be completely impassable. You seem to be in quite the predicament, but fear not for a fair price. We will help you. Um... 225 gold, or helping others is its own reward. I can just convince him to join us. We start swiftly moving again. Oh, great work. A new martial perk as well. Daughter's home, a new stewardship perk, a new learning perk. I mean, obviously, we're going to get a shitload of experience because I've hit, specifically, I've gone to all those specific sites. So, that's going to give, what, 200 experience per site we visit, of course, depending on its various different skills. Oh, no. We have to take time to forage and hunt because our food's gone bad, and it's going to delay us by 10 days. Damn. Bit of a drop in the, in the bucket, really, isn't it? Tax one. Collect taxes up by 25%. That'll do. Pay for our journey a bit more. God knows how they're getting the gold to us, but that doesn't matter too much. Radiant. Level of devotion impact plus 100%. If we could get to Theologian before the pilgrimage technically begins, be kind of nice. We get a nice benefit from that. Your legend is ready to be upgraded. No way that it spread to 300 in that time. Exactly 300. Wow. Increase the quality. A maximum mythical legend. Rightfully conquered the kingdom of Mesopotamia from the unworthy Faddle. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. And there she is, a living legend. Holy shit. And you know what? The best thing is, because we've got this mod, we can actually confirm. Uh, we can actually confirm. All right. Don't, don't pay attention to that. <laughs> I think we have to finish the legend, don't we? We have to complete it before it applies that, which we'll do. We'll do that when we get back. Graceful Age increases stewardship by one. Elf Miramis, Elf Miramis becomes a witch as well. Very nice. 
we'll just start disseminating that through the realm. I mean, why would they ever say no? It counts as virtuous. So I think it's almost inevitable that eventually, with enough time, we're just going to... Everyone's going to become a witch. Why wouldn't they? We can potentially negotiate an alliance with Maharani Anoki. Oh, hello. Okay, we'll have a chat with him in a minute then. Our cousin-in-law. What was that? Are you with your cousin-in-law? Huh. Well, that could be quite powerful. I mean, he likes us. I don't think there's really much we can do with that because we already have the two alliances. Because it's through non-close family. Different faith, current amount of alliances. He's already got alliances. Okay, probably not going to happen, and that's all right. Let's quickly tidy up the realm while we are um, paying very little attention to it. I did notice that you can lawfully imprison your marshal. In that case, get him imprisoned. Good, justice is served. And then we can swap him out for someone better. Because at this point, nepotism reigns supreme, my friends. Look at that. Beautiful. In fact, at this point, why is Queen Elftar of Croatia in our realm? Go live with your husband. What are you doing? I mean, I don't mind if you want to serve on the council. That's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, we've got an insane council. Like a ridiculous, ridiculous council at this point. Jesus. Okay. Oh, don't, don't touch anything. Let them, seriously, just leave them to do their job. We could never come back to the realm. And honestly, nothing would change. They don't need us. Well, I mean, they do need us because the realm's clearly much better with us there. But the point is, if we left and never came back, it would be fine. The days would carry on as if it, uh, as if it was paradise. Your dynasty has unlocked practice kidnappers. I don't think I like that. Gold for ransom is up by 50%. Gain prestige when ransom in prison is more likely to imprison characters after a successful siege or raid. Hold on. I do like that. You've won me over. Thank you, Galandor, for also winning over that person. New marsh, but there's too much to say that we are just traveling across the realm. There's an awful lot happening, isn't there? Ooh. It's time to find out. My tuition of Elf Miramis is at an end. Potentially our next character. Potentially our successor. A natural administrator from birth. Should come at no surprise. Oh my god, we're not going to be there for the grand wedding. No. <laughs> it should surprise no one that Elf Miramis has come far in the studies and management of the realm. She did, in fact, become Midas Touch. Wow, she's good. But she's, she's really good. 31 stewardship. Bloody hell. I don't think she's as good as our current steward. That's going to be quite hard to beat, given that he's got 46. Golden Sovereign. Oh, that's a level 5 education trait. Fair enough. They can marry, but we can't, because we're not going to be back for five years. I, I mean, because it's not a grand wedding for an alliance, we haven't got the same pressure we would normally have, so we can just do it whenever when we get back. But they're not going to be married until then, so less chance of grandkids actually might not be a bad thing because it means if we want to end up playing as a grandkid it'll work out that when it's time to move on from this character we can jump into them they'll still be very young so this could work out really really well i mean um of course i planned it how dare you suggest otherwise welcome back my daughter how is she looking magi aloran's sister scholarly courtier has to load obviously one in a bit spark prodigy there sagacious elf jesus i mean she's she's great She's great. I really can't complain. She's also got Pilgrim because she came with us on some journeys in her earlier life. Oh, she's with us now. Oh, well, shit. And she's also got experienced traveler. She's been on the road for five years. We could have the grand wedding while we're out. That's nice. Well, the old portal ruins. That would be great. I mean, we can't, but that would be nice. Defender of the faith. Oh, we can zoom in. Oh, well, that's interesting. I had no idea. I don't know why I would want to do that. But there we are. That's pretty good for maybe some of these larger trees. I'm not sure. Theologian coming up next then. Beautiful. And that gives that massive prestige benefit for not to say, yeah, 20%, sorry, piety, obviously. 20% monthly piety is fantastic. Um, the War of Revenge. Right, what's the revenge for? King Ratha Tharthi. King Ratha Tharthi. Oh, our father. Oh, that's why he's probably calling his daughter. Revenge. Who, who, who did you kill? The land here. Who did you kill? Annalise. Nearly on Percy. Killed in battle. I don't know what's happened, but there's clearly some reason that we have a war for revenge. I can manage things from here. Do not double check this button. The pilgrimage will continue. Do not go home. Jesus. War of Revenge. Uh, they're defending. Well, I wish I knew what had started. Force demands. Do you mail and is crimes against those close to you. How interesting. Okay. I mean, I should help him. And I will help him because this is, this is our father. This is our previous character. And it's all happening over here in Sicily. In that case, raise the army. Send them in. Let's go clap some cheeks. Yeah, you better run. Look at them, cowards. Fleeing the second we get close. Yeah, get them. Clap the cheeks. I have so many ideas for the realm. Uh, we'll just say recognition for now. Oh, you fools. Reinforce, reinforce, reinforce. Faster, 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 faster. Oh, God, that was close. That was close, but that'll be a battle in your favor, my friend. There you go. You're very welcome. You're very welcome, fella. And this is the this is the people we're at war with here, then. No, that's King Eldrin. Where's your capital? Out of curiosity. Where's your... 
Oh, wait, where is your capital? Calabria? This isn't Calabria at all. <laughs> okay, let's go and let's go get that siege for him. Give him a hand. Wow, how many did we kill him? What the hell? Slaughter. That looked way worse than it was, but we ended up just just fleeing most of our, retreating most of our troops out. Your dynasty has a lot, making a killing, haven't we just? Enemy fair to catch these up by 10%, gain gold from battles. Five gold. Why couldn't you have given me that 30 seconds earlier? Ah, oh, shit. Well, that's okay. Um, would you like to join me? We gain prestige. You've got to put, a, put aside your paranoia to accept this to accept this dutiful traveler. Oh my god, we can take strategist. Beautiful. Wow. Bit irrelevant, because obviously it's not her leading the armies, but that's quite nice. Maybe we should just go and um, fight some battles then. Forget about the sieging. Earn a bit of cash for our, for our time spent over here. Why not? Bear in mind the amount of slaughters. We keep getting slaughter of X, slaughter of Y, blah, blah, blah. We can actually catch him. Nice. Good work. Might as well make a little bit of cash on the side then, huh? Visited the Grand Temple of the Divine Spark. Wow. The Ancestral Homeland. Very nice. There you go. Let's make some money here. Not that we really need that much cash, I suppose. Hey, a level of fame, though, I'll take. Does it say? Oh, yeah. 176 gold. Just like that. Wow. Oh, I'm a big fan of that. And there it is. Theologian. Good lord. It's all the experience we got from visiting all these sites. Obviously, visiting the Grand Temple. That gave us the final thing we need just to tick over through... Theologian as well. There's a prowess perk on top of it. This is, this is very silly. Resolute vassals. Yeah, sure. We might as well get down to commander. Because I imagine we'd be doing a lot more commanding now. I've seen quite how, how ludicrous the uh, amount of money we can make from, <laughs> from raiding is. Let's go and upgrade our capital then. We might as well spend some money while we are over on the other side of the world pissing around. Well, I've started upgrading every single thing we possibly can. And we've still got two grand in our pocket. We'll save it for the, for the wedding, right? Another martial boat. We should probably move away from it at this point. Maybe into Intrigue? Although Chivalric Dominance is very powerful. We probably should move away at this point, I think, into Intrigue. Given that she's paranoid, uh, to, to learn about that, I think, suits her quite well. Oh, well. There's that war out the way. You're very welcome. You are very, very welcome, Ratha Tharthi. Anything for you, my friend. Boom. Oh, shit. If we marry our daughter to Alderaan Parasid, we gain an alliance of 195,000 troops. Are we going to be able to call him in? More specifically, will he accept? Uh, probably not. But that does mean that... Oh, he's called the Bloodfather. That's sick. It does mean that it's unlikely that he will... That, that anyone will go to war with us, seeing that we've got such a powerful ally, right? That was our... Not our previous character, but our previous character before him's father. So this guy is... Actually, I was going to say old as fuck, but he's actually not bad. 217. And he's only just a regular elf as well. How are you still alive? It's really interesting, though, that we had two characters that were enemies with Emperor Thaldir, and now we've kind of come full circle to where our characters now allied with him, and they get on perfectly fine. This is cool. It's a cool dynamic that we've got going on over, <laughs> what, like six generations at this stage? I think we take... Never back down. And then I think we move on. I think we move, we think we move to Intrigue, and I think we get Schema sorted out. I think that is something that suits her character, given that she's paranoid. To be able to get much more... Maybe, obviously, we probably won't use any murder schemes or anything like that. I don't think there's any reason that we would do that unless it was for um, revenge. Or maybe to get rid of a rival. I could see a paranoid person wanting to get rid of a rival through murder. That could make a lot of sense. But outside of that, I think we're just doing it to learn about intrigue so that she can defend herself. Our daughter, Elf Sanal, will be betrothed to Thalion, giving us an alliance with emperor elendar the fearless of west slavia oh my god hello where have you popped up from fella well that's another hundred and eleven thousand troops that we're allied to good lord <laughs> good lord we've got a lot of allies allies military strength three hundred and forty thousand. i'd love to see anyone fight with us at this point prepared for anything exactly what i'm talking about suits a paranoid diligent character quite well i think lower hostile success chance not that we've made Many enemies at all. Not that she's been home. I'm surprised anybody will remember her when she goes back. It's me, the queen. They'll say, we've never seen this lady before. Never seen her before in our lives. Now, we've already got Theologian. Uh, what's Divine Inspiration? Faith and Reformation cost minus 5%. Ooh, okay. I mean, by, by spending a perk on this, I'm effectively committing to it. Because these perks do take a long time to get. Obviously, we're getting so many because we're traveling across the world seeing all these different sites. Form the Faith. Ooh, I think we almost kind of have to give a bit more empowerment to the to the women in the realm. I think that makes a lot of sense. It's been a massive inconvenience so far having all these women not be permitted to hold 
counties and become marshals and whatever else. So, hang on. No, I've got that backwards, haven't I? It's culture that we... Oh, no. Culture just lets you assign marshals. But I think that with, through the religion, we can define... Uh, I wonder if we can make men religious characters? Probably not. Uh, what about your secret? What do you mean? What's my secret? Oh, embezzlement? All right. What the hell is Baron Finrath going to do with a hook on us, huh? Your dynasty is a lot no quarters. 25% extra daily siege progress. My God. Enemy counties lose substantial control when occupied. Wowee. Okay. Um, no, we don't need that. Thank you. We're almost there. We've, we've almost arrived. I think I know a cure for Galandor. There you are. You're welcome. We're almost to Iceland. You've just got to gotta bear with it. We're almost there. No. Oh, it is considered void. Oh, come on. Well, that doesn't... That's bullshit, by the way. We can still have a grand wedding there, right? Oh, I'll just arrange another grand wedding. That doesn't matter. When we get back. Because obviously they're not going to marry off. I'm not going to marry either of them otherwise. So don't worry about it. We'll just get back and still have the grand wedding. That's fine. Unless it doesn't count. Oh, God. I think we'll be... Oh, aggravated wound. No. And then he dies on the journey. Wouldn't that be very appropriate? No. I will not force the order's wishes upon my child. I will decide. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that upsets them. I know we lose 150 piety. We have a plan. It's just bullshit that we're on a long journey. Okay? No, my son wants to stay here. We do not have time for juvenile infatuations. He's trying everything he can to not come back and marry. Stop that. Another marsh perk. Household guards. Yes, please. We've got a stewardship perk. Ah, uh, defensive measures. Yes, please. And then finally, we've got a learning perk. Divine inspiration. I think that's the third time we've taken it. That's a minus 15% cost. Presuming it, it does... Add up like that's a ceiling claim on that. Oh god. Enemies were allied though. I can't do that. Can we? I thought I was allied to this guy. Oh, the Emperor of Italia. No, I've never seen this man before in my life. Sure, I'll help you with that. Um, I can manage things from here. Thank you. And a matter of safety. I should hire them for my No 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 no. I have faith in the divine spark. Thank you. Our journey's become more pious. Are you telling me we haven't even hit tier one of piousness? We've been traveling for a fucking decade. What do you mean? Visited the legendary shrine. I don't even remember why we built that shrine. It was so long ago now. Really, I have no idea. We built that enormous horse statue because we defeated someone? A Startha Tharthi statue? It was so long ago, I don't even remember. I don't even remember, but my god, we're finally there. Baradum. It took us a long time to get here. Brilliant. That was worth it, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm really glad we spent five years on a pilgrimage to get level one of piousness. I'm never trusting anyone in the comments ever again. This is it. You've lost. This is this was your final chance, and you've blown it. I chose every decision that gave us uh, uh, the, your journey becomes more pious option. So unless we leave this place with four piousness, I'm livid. I'm never trusting anyone. Only follow your heart. Click the first button that looks the shiniest. No, piss off. I will marry him in my own time. Is this an actual joke? Level one piousness. I got eight hundred and ten piety. 810 piety for that. For a seven fucking year pilgrimage. We started in Baghdad. We went from one end of the globe to the other. We went from Eastern Siberia to Iceland. And I got 800 piety. We could have got more piety hosting an event in the capital that took two months. I am... I, I don't know what to say. I trusted you all. Pick altruism. You'll get more piety. Oh, make sure it's a longer journey. Pick circumspect. Go and plan some other places. It'll work out fine. We went on that pilgrimage to our back garden and we got 470 piety for that. That took five minutes. I've been betrayed. This attempt on my life has left me scarred and deformed. And I'm I'm not. Uh, we, ca we cannot. We're returning home. Maybe we'll make our own religion with blackjack and hookers. Oh, well, we got organizer. And that was from our legend. So that we got that going for us, which I suppose is... Suppose it's something. <laughs> I think it's actually cost us more piety by me declining the order multiple times now about this marriage than we actually made on the journey. So, um, tra uh, but travel bodes well. Yes, doesn't it just? Doesn't it just? It, it quite literally just teleported us home. What happened? What the hell just happened there? It, it genuinely just teleported us back. No. Alaran advisor of Germania. What did he just ask for? I should have said yes to that. My bad. Uh, yeah. What just happened there? Do I think maybe it just timed out because we went on a journey for just too long? Oh my god. Um, I don't need this. Give me the intrigue. Ah, <sighs> so we're home. 
My courtier, Queen Elf Tower of Croatia, has insisted on seeing me. My serene queen, it has been too long since you last showed yourself at court. Yes, I, I agree. We'll deal with that in a second. That was a tremendous waste of time, and I did not get anything to show for it. Uh, we could trade for a tournament. Maybe we should get strong. Uh, boom. You're getting the trade strong. Amazing. <laughs> what do we need? Why, why can't we ascend? Where's that gone? The decision disappeared. Everything's broken. I hope you're pleased with yourself. I really hope you plan. Oh, fuck you. I could plan a pilgrimage. Where do you plan to piss off, huh? Expedition. Yeah, I could deal with that. And now, grand wedding. Ratha Thathi to, uh, where is she? Hold on. Let me find her here. Alf, Alf Moromis. There she is. She's still unwell. That's okay. These things happen. Grand wedding. Send the proposal. And then tomorrow, we'll relax at home. We'll have a lovely wedding, a lovely feast. We'll ascend. Everything will be fine and beautiful, Okay. This is my face when my council tell me to go on a long pilgrimage because it will make me more pious. And then all I get out of it is uh, probably net gain of about uh, 500 piety. Unbelievable behavior. Thank you for joining me today. That was a silly idea, wasn't it? Uh, apologies about the end card. It's broken. I had to reset my PC. I'm, it's barely operational. The audio is probably not as good as it normally is. So apologies for that. I, I'll be back up on my feet very soon as soon as everything's kind of smooth sailing. Thank you to... This be Willis, Juniper Dude 69, Vanessa Greaves, Smexy Grandpa, Slighter, Geek, Amazilla, Blex, John Viral, Jim 42, Grendel, Offen, Scapegoat, Liam Mersick, Dark Desire, Ethox, Boop, Fexen, Elp, Pokemon Backer, A Million Violets, Sam, Kane, A Fell Tail, Buen Gun, and Anti 001 for their support at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. <laughs> Thank you as well to Runar, Slurpy Gurpin, Ethrix, Ineffective Guevara, Whimsy Calico, Layforce, Tarama, or Tur Tarana, sorry, my mouse was the over over the end. Uh, Emoja, Trash Panda Paladin, Dorian, No Thoughts Head Empty, Toby, Erotha, and Arildo, and Toasty Buns. Bye! <laughs>